Hi there, welcome back. Uh, in the previous video, we did some cleanup. We finished the push model and we isolate a little bit the model from the graph so we can implement different models, different ways to think about the valuation of the graph. And we also improve a little bit the, the debug messages when we run the test. So if, let me run the test. Everything is passing and we have like a nice debugging. Each time the node is evaluated, we can see the values, if it's connected and all that kind of stuff. So oh, that's good. Today, in this video, we're going to implement a different way to think about graphs, uh, what the evaluation of the graph, a different model that's called pool. So a pool model is uh, basically a lazily evaluated model. So instead of evaluate each node uh, when we set a value, like in the push model, we are going to evaluate the node only when we need the result. So if we don't need the result, we don't care about the inputs. The inputs are not, the node is not doing anything. Right? It's, it's inactive. But when we need a result, we need to figure out, solve the entire chain and, and get a result right for, for the user. So let's do that. Uh, I think I will, well, we'll create a new class for the pool model case. So class pool model case. And um, we need to really test exactly the same behavior in the nodes well, or, or very similar. So I will use that as a base class. So this should be push model case so that way we have we have our test cases for free kind of oh at least a, a starting point so if i save that and i run this well basically we have double the test but yeah we're testing the same right so in order to change the model looks like this is the only yeah, we need to change this to pull instead of push in this test. So one way to do it. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, yeah, let's do, let's add an attribute to the class, to the test class uh, with the model so we can change it in the subclasses. So in it, we have self all the arguments we need to go supper this is push model case self dot init we pass the arguments and now we say self dot model would be equal to digipy dot push so that way if I set this to uh, self that model that should be fine so let me run this oh it's good so now uh, instead of pass we need to change that here so you need self arguments we call super pool model case of init and we pass the arguments and then we say self that uh, model would be equal to digipy dot pool so that way we change the model and we can run the test so let me try this and we have an error because there's no pool so pool will be equal to one. Let me run the test. Um, well, this looks like just what we want. So there's no evaluation in any of the pool model test. 
but all the push tests are passing so this looks yeah this looks good it's just what we want so in this first video to make it easier to yeah and to start like solving one problem at a time we're going to deal with the first two tests only I think that's a good advice always solve one problem at a time so if I run this it's simple and I have one test failing and the error is because none is different at 5 so the node never gets evaluated and that's good so let's fix that so how to do it um, okay so in the push model each time we change the value we set a value in an input port we are basically evaluating the node so if the model is pool we are going to change this we basically yeah no instead of doing this and evaluate the node at this stage when we set a value in an input port we basically need to evaluate the node when we get the value so let's do just this def get value self right so if self dot owner uh no yeah owner that model is equal to pool we are going to evaluate the node basically so self dot owner dot evaluate and once that's done we want to return the value right so super output port self uh, and get value so yeah we evaluate the node only when we try to get the value looks nice looks good let's run the test and that's it it's passing so a single node evaluation it's done works and and you can start like having a feeling about the difference why a different model so in the push model case you can see how when we set the first value we have one evaluation when we set the second value we have other evaluations so the node is being evaluated two times but in the pool model we can get exactly the same result by evaluating the node just once right? just when we want the result so in some cases it's a bit more optimized and that's what we want so that's good let me save this so right now the, the project it's all the rest of the tests are not passing so we are going to instead of save this to master and have a broken project we are going to create a branch just like we did with the push implementation so git branch go git check out we will create a new branch called pool and now we can save this so git uh, commit everything and we can say pool model single node implement yeah implementation that's pretty much it so yeah the next video we are trying to do well we'll implement the connections and see how to optimize this a little bit more so yeah see you in the next bye bye